A recently released survey from the Anti-Defamation League found incidents of anti-Semitism are on the rise on college campuses around the nation. Joanna Gagas has our story as part of Exploring Hate, our ongoing series of reports on anti-Semitism, racism, and extremism. I'm wearing a baseball cap because when I'm on campus, I don't feel safe wearing my kippa. Aaron Bardhold says he's experienced anti-Semitism in many forms during his time at Rutgers University in Newark, so much so that he hides his traditional head covering, and he's not alone. We've seen attacks on students because of their support for Israel. Uh, we've seen that they've been excluded from spaces because of their support for Israel. A new survey released by the Anti-Defamation League, or ADL, found that nearly a third of all Jewish students nationwide experienced anti-Semitism directly, and the number grows to 43 percent when you add those who've witnessed it. More than 40 percent of Jewish students had either personally experienced anti-Semitism in the 2020-2021 school year or had witnessed somebody uh, being the victim of anti-Semitism. Most often it's in the form of comments or slurs online or in person, according to the report, and it's often repeated behavior. But at Rutgers Newark, sometimes it's physical, as Barthold knows all too well. I had a, another student proselytize uh, towards me and try to remove my kippa. And thankfully I had other students there that I was friends with that kept the person away. But there are other students on campus that are afraid to even wear their stars of David's out, their necklaces out. White supremacist and nationalist groups have been emboldened in recent years, but there's a growing anti-Semitic movement among progressives in the Democratic Party who are now sympathizing with Palestine, says ADL's Scott Richman. We're talking about students who are not permitted to be part of progressive causes. Our students want to be part of finding solutions for climate uh, change, want to be part of, um, you know, the college Democrats or the LGBTQ um, organization, but very often are being told that they need to check their Zionism, their support for Israel at the door before they're being allowed a seat at the table. And that's just, that's wrong. The study was conducted in partnership with Hillel International, a Jewish student group with branches in more than 500 schools around the country, several here in New Jersey. And it wasn't just the offenses that were surprising. Perhaps equally as interesting is that when questioned about what those students did about that anti-Semitic incident, 75% of them said they did absolutely nothing. They didn't report it to Hillel. They didn't report it to ADL. They didn't report it to the administration. They simply kept it to themselves. Barthold says he did report the toxic climate, and while his campus is now working to create a Hillel similar to the one on the Rutgers New Brunswick campus, he says the culture still feels unsafe today. Are you afraid when you're on campus? Other than my core group of friends, I don't know if I'd have the support on campus to not be approached and, and blamed for the Israel-Palestine conflict and things like that. In a statement, the university said, Rutgers Newark strongly values and supports our students of all backgrounds. We are indeed engaged in conversations with student leaders about bringing a Hillel chapter to Rutgers Newark. Scherzer says similar conversations around the state and nation need to be heard louder and clearer. There is no other minority group on campus expressing these concerns for whom this would be tolerated. She says a change can't come fast enough. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Joanna Gagas. Leadership support for Exploring Hate is provided by the Sylvia A. and Simon B. Poita Programming Endowment to Fight Antisemitism, with additional major funding from Sue and Edgar Wachenheim III, the Peter G. Peterson and Joan Gans Cooney Fund, and Patty Asquith Kenner.